Hello, everyone, and welcome. I am so glad you're here. My name is Kelsey Derringer, and I'm going to be your teacher today at CodeJoy. We are an online classroom specializing in coding and robotics and engineering, but I'm not here by myself today. I am joined, as always, by our director and producer, Matt the Robot. Hey, Matt. Hey, Kelsey. How's it going today? I am great. How are you doing today, Matt? I'm doing excellent. I'm ready to answer some questions that will be coming in from Facebook and YouTube. That's right. If you are watching us live, we are streaming this Zoom meeting to a bunch of different places, and you can participate live even if you're not in our Zoom room. If you leave comments like, hey, shout out to so-and-so, or questions, or um, compliments for the people who are on our Zoom call today, we can see those and bring those live into our classroom, all right? Um, but it's not just me and it's not just Matt. We have a whole classroom full of students today. Does everybody want to wave hello to the people out there in streaming land? Everybody wave hi, hi. Hello. All of our students today who are on our class and they are going to be helping us out to solve some problems with coding and to introduce that a little bit I'm going to introduce somebody and this is somebody who really needs no introduction because you know who she is she is the biggest DJ in Australia she is the Elvis of EDM, the Bieber of Beats, the Sultan of Sway, the Diva of Dance Music, the Babe Ruth of BPM, the number one DJ in Farmville, Iowa, which is saying a lot because there are totally two DJs in Farmville, Iowa, Flora the DJ. Pew, 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 pew. How's it going, Flora? Nice to see you. How you doing today? Oh, not so good. Well, we're, we're so excited to be here today, Flora. We are here for your concert, and I'm so excited for your concert. There are going to be so many people showing up to cheer for you. I'm really excited that they're going to be there. We're going to hear your music. It's going to be awesome. Flora, are you excited for your concert? What? Why not? Why aren't you excited for your concert? You don't have it? Uh, that seems like a problem. You're a DJ. Aren't you supposed to, like, make your own songs or something? Oh, interesting. I didn't know that DJs did all of that. Actually, I didn't know what DJs did, but I'm really glad you explained it. That really clears things up. Guys, we have our work cut out for us today. <laughs> this DJ has no songs ready, and there's about to be a huge crowd coming to hear her play. So what we're going to do is we are going to create some music for her. She has, she just told me that she has created the beats, the like, ums, 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 that goes underneath, but she doesn't have any melodies to go over the, the top. So that's what we're going to do in Microbit Classroom today. All right. So um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to share um, our uh, share the the uh, an example that I made. This is an example song that I made, and what Matt's going to do is he's going to share that code with everybody who's with us on Microbit Classroom right now, and um, he's going to send that to you. So he just sent that to everybody. And let's go to gallery view real quick. Give me a thumbs up if you just got some code on your Microbit Classroom. Yeah. How do I get into if a you are having classroom? That's a great question, Jack. We're going to put that information in the chat window on Zoom. So check out the chat window on Zoom because this is just for the folks who are here on Zoom. So type in that information. You're going to go to microbit.org slash join and okay. then put in the information that we put in the chat and that'll get you in there. Good question, Jack. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Before we make a song, we need to learn a little bit about, you know, making songs and stuff. So let's learn just a little bit about that. Um, and we're going to we're going to use um, the code that I sent you to talk about that a little bit. All right. Before we get too deep into it, it looks like we have a quick question or comment coming in from Facebook. What do we got, Matt? That's right. We've got one comment from Facebook from Daryl saying that he loves our lessons and that we should keep it up. Thanks, Daryl. Amy says, hi, it's Henry. <laughs> So, hi, Henry. How you Henry, doing? Henry, it's great to see you, Henry. We miss you. Please come back to class. All right. So, um, let's talk a little bit about how music works and use microbit uh, and make code to talk about it. So, the way that songs work is they have a beat. And the beat of a song is like the pulse underneath. It's what you clap your hands to. It's what you stomp your foot to. But that beat can be broken up into smaller, faster pieces. Right? So you can cut a single beat down into a half or a quarter 
or an eighth or a sixteenth. And the blocks that we're, we'll be using today on Microbit Classroom allow you to do that. These blocks that say like play tone, you can choose the note. So if you click different notes on the keyboard here, you can choose different notes. And I'm going to set that one back at B. And then you can also tell it how long you want that note to last for. Do you want it to last for one beat? Do you want it to last, to last for half a beat or a quarter or an eighth? Any, uh, uh, the smaller the number, the shorter that note will last for. And then you've also got rests that you can use in here as well. So a rest means don't make any sounds, right? Those are just as important in music as all of the notes are. So you've got tones to play with, which is like the, the pitch, right? You've got beats to play with, which is how long it lasts. And you've also got rests to play with. So what you guys are going to need to do, your job here on our Zoom meeting today, is to help Flora write some actual melodies to go over the beats that she's got. Now, your job as well is to make all of the um, notes that you put in that, in that loop there, make all of those notes add up to 16, all right? So if we do a quick addition here of the beats that I've made, we'll see that they add up to 16. Two and one is three, another one is four, five, six, seven, eight, these two together are nine, these two together are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I just made a 16 beat phrase, which is what you guys should do too. And it will be initiated when I press the A button. So let's listen to what I made so that you can make something else, because this is my song, not your song. You gotta make a new one. I here's my song. When I press the A button, we'll hear it. Right? It 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 bops. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a good song, and I wrote it. So you guys have to write your own good songs, okay? So mess with it. You can also, if you want to add more blocks in there, um, you can grab this. Make sure you grab the one that says play tone. You can grab more from there. There's another rest block down um, underneath here somewhere. There it is right there. But make sure you just kind of use those same kinds of blocks and that it lasts 16 beats. All right. Looks like we have a couple questions coming in from Facebook, Matt. Tell us what's up. Well, uh, Olivia from Florida says hi. So hello, Olivia. And uh, Helia from Portugal was wondering how they may be able to join the Zoom meeting. Uh, if you're interested in joining any future Zoom classes, please visit codejoyedu.com. That's right. Um, and that's actually a great question. How can you join the Zoom meeting? You actually don't have to join the Zoom meeting to participate live because I created this bit.ly link here. So if you at home, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching not live, so I'm talking to you there in the future, you can go to this bit.ly link, bit.ly uh, bit.ly slash codejoydj and make sure the correct letters are capitalized and that will take you to a Google Doc that has all the instructions for how to do this activity at home including the beats that we are going to play our melodies over. So you can go there and find everything that we have done so far. I want to check in really quick with Jack. Can we go to gallery view? Jack, were you able to get on Microbit Classroom? Give me a thumbs up if so. Um, yeah, so where I am, there's like, you can move like blocks and make songs, I guess. So what we're going to do really That's quick, right spot. Point, we, um, I'm going to have Matt share that example code that I made with you. Um, so go ahead, Matt. He's going to share that just with Jack because everybody else is already working. Um, so Matt, we're going to, or um, Jack, we're going to share that code with you so that you can use that as a starting place. All right. So remember, you are making a number of beats that add up to 16 and making your own song. And you can hear it if you go to the little simulator on the side here. That's this part of your microbit classroom screen. If you go to your simulator, you might have to push play, but then you can click the A button yeah, to hear what your song sounds like. Because we are then going to put your song over the beats that Flora made. All right, hey, Flora. Um, so I made that little song. Do you want to, do you want to try and use it over one of your beats? Okay, great. Let's try it. So Flora, go ahead and play your beats, play your sick beats, and I will put my dope melodies over the top. Uh, here we go. Here is the uh, aforementioned sick beat. 
Okay, here we go, Flora. Let's bop. There we are. So here's your beat. I'm gonna play my melody over the top. Ready? Two, one, two, three. Right? Not bad. Not bad. Let me show you how I did that. Will we turn it? Can we turn it back up a second there, Matt? Okay. Because I want to show you how I did that and how I'm gonna do that with your songs as well. All right. So we're gonna turn it back up. And when I press the A button, that starts the melody playing. Ready? Two, one, two, three. Now, you guys got to do better than me. That was my first song, like, ever. You guys can do better. You guys have a great sense of music. All right? So, that's what you guys are working on now, is making some dope melodies to go with these sick beats. All right? Keep working, y'all. And it looks like we have a question coming in from the Book of Face. What's up, Matt? That's right. Uh, we've got a comment from Tanya Coates saying, so cool. And I just <laughs> want to say, Tanya, we think you're so cool. We think you're the coolest, Tanya. <laughs> All right. Let me check in. Uh, let's go to gallery view really quick. Uh, raise your hand like I taught you if you are ready to try out your melody. That wasn't very much work time, but maybe you are. Looks like Sebastian is. Sebastian, I'm going to go check in on your code. Let's see what you built here. Um, let me go back here. Let's look at Sebi's. All right, Sebi changed stuff. Very cool. Let's do a, a quick little bit of math, Sebi. Let's add up your blocks to make sure that they amount to um, 16 counts. All right, so we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a quarter beat. Um, so seven and a quarter, there's eight and a quarter, nine and a quarter, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, except that you've got an extra quarter rest, but hey man, let's see how it sounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna share this code and I'm gonna let Matt help me out with this part. Um, we're going to share your code with Kelsey the student and we're just gonna listen and see what your code sounds like. Now while we're working on that, it actually looks like there's a little bit of a development happening in the uh, in the in the stadium, Flora uh, looks like the crowd is arriving. Here they come. They sound. Uh, they look excited. They look like they are very into your music. Um, they're here. They're ready for a, a sick banger, and uh, they're they're still making their way in a little bit. Yep, there they are. Flora, how do their how do their faces look? Can you tell us? We just see the backs of their heads. How do their faces look? Okay, they look both excited and nervous about the prospect of listening to electronic dance music. That's a really specific facial expression, but I trust you. You've been doing this for at least two weeks, so you know what you're talking about when it comes to, to DJ stuff. All right, Matt, do we have Sebastian's code shared with me, the student? Yes, we do. Wonderful. All right. So, Sebastian, let's listen to your sick beat. All right. So, everybody, here's Sebastian's song without any, uh, sorry, dope melody. <laughs> Flora's got the sick beats. We've got the dope melodies. Really got to work to keep that straight. All right, this is Sebastian's dope melody. Here we go, Sebastian. Yes. Oh, yeah, totally here for that. Now, I noticed something you did. You changed this number here to 288, but I'm going to change it back to 117 because that is the beats per minute of the song that we're syncing it up to. We're going to talk about beats per minute in just a little bit. But let's listen to it again now at the at the speed that we're going to play it at so that it syncs up with the song. Here we go. 117. Yeah, love it, love it. Okay, so now we're gonna do. This is this is the time. The crowd is here. Flora, uh, Flora, what do you think? Should we play Sebastian's uh, melody over your sick beats? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Um, we're just gonna do it live because there's no time. The crowd is here. All right, Sebastian. I hope it's great. Here we go. Play that sick intro, Flora.
let's show Sebastian some love. Can we give him a round of applause? Looking great. So that was that was a bop, Sebastian. That was a banger. That was great. Do you want to unmute yourself if you can and tell us how you felt about your song? Did you did you like how your song turned out? You, oh, and I know you've been having troubles unmuting. So if you want to type it out in oh, there you go. How'd you think about your song? It was good, except me and my mom were uh, at that end of the high pitch. That kind of like. <laughs> was it a little bit like e? Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of like changed it a little. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Keep working on that song, man. Keep working on it. Who else has? I want to do one more with this beat because we have another beat we want to put it with. Xander, do you have a song ready? All right, dude, Matt's going to do the thing. He's going to share your code with me, and we're going to listen to it, and we're going to play it, and Flora's going to play it for the crowd. And listen, man, I hope it's super good because the crowd's there. It's live. The stakes are incredibly high. So just, you know, it's a lot, it's a, it's a lot of pressure. But I think you're the right man for it, Xander. I think, you're, I think you're super talented. All right, so if we go to speaker view so everybody can see me a little bigger there. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, here, oh gosh, look at there. Look at all of these beats that Sander did. Sander, did you do some math to make sure they add up to 16? Let's see, we're gonna play it and see what it sounds like. Here we go. That, that, I, it sounds familiar. I just, I can't quite place it, but that, 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 that's a star song right there. So good. All right. Xander, you want to hear your song over the top of the beats? Um, it's Mary Had a Mary Had a Little Lamb? That's the biggest song in Djibouti right now. That's like top of the charts. That's amazing. That's so cool. Okay. So we're gonna do. And we're going to uh, we're gonna mute Sebastian too, because I hear you playing with music, which is great, which is what you should be doing. We just don't want it to interrupt. There, you're good, you're good. We got you. <laughs> All right, so Flora, are you ready? to play some more sick beats all right let the let's get this bop going girl Fire. Let's go to gallery view. Let's show Xander some love, everybody. That was, woo, that was great. That was great. But listen, listen, guys, that's not the only beat that Flora has ever made. She has another beat that I want to share with you. But before I do, let me go to uh, Matt, because it looks like we have a couple comments coming in. People showing some love out there, Matt. Oh, that's right. We're getting a lot of love from Facebook. Um, Carl said, whoa, Sebastian, that is a dope melody. <laughs> And we also had Mary Had a Little Lamb Jam. So the love coming in for Xander. Mary Had a Little Jam, yo. That uh, is awesome. Uh, Henry also says another hello. So one more hello Ooh. to you, Henry. And um, Amy is actually having trouble opening the link. So if we could show oh, that bit.ly link sure. one more time, that might be helpful. Yes, absolutely. So one more time, here is that bit.ly link for those oh. of you at home. Oops, we want to go to this one here. For those of you at home, if you want to um, have access to the make code file that I sent out and these sick, sick beats, um, then you can find them all by going to that link. Now, make sure that you capitalize C, J, and DJ, and the rest of them are lowercase. Capitalization matters in bit.ly links. So um, go to bit.ly slash codejoydj, and that'll open up a Google Doc for you. Okay? All right. So I, I want to... Um, 
Oh, what was that? I changed mine just a little bit. You changed yours? Well, that's great because we are going to change a bunch of stuff right now. The thing that you did right at the very beginning, Sebastian, which is what I want everybody to do now, uh, we did not talk about this part of the code, the set tempo. So the tempo of a song, if the beat is the pulse, the tempo is how fast that goes. So the song that we were just writing to had a tempo of 117 beats per minute. That's how many of those beats will fit in 60 seconds. So the tempo of that song was 117. The tempo of our new song is 174, which is a lot faster. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be faster. Sam's got it. He's like, boom, 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 boom. That's right. Now, listen, I'm on the East Coast. It's about 10 minutes to one for me right now. This is a good song for the middle of a Saturday. If you're on the West Coast, it's probably like not quite 10 o'clock in the morning. This is how you should start your day every day, what we're about to do, okay? Hey, Matt. I, no, that's not true. Hey, Flora. Flora, would you play these, uh, the, your next beat for us? I just want to hear what it'll sound like. Go for it. All right, go ahead. Play that next beat. I just want to hear what it'll sound like, girl. Here's your next beat, all right? Make sure that in your code, you change your beat to 174 beats per minute so that you're at the right tempo. And we can just use your same song if you want, or you can write a new song, all right? So go ahead and take care of that. Change those beats to 174 beats per minute. And Matt, will you bring that, that song down in the background? Thank you. I should say Flora. Flora's got the, the audio equipment. Matt's just a a robot with no arms. Um, so, uh, and what I think is pretty cool actually is to hear the same song at a different tempo. So that's what I'm going to call up right now. I'm going to bring up the original song that I made um, and just I want to hear what that song sounds like at this new BPM. So I'm going to open that one up right now. And while you guys are working, we're just going to listen to what that original melody that I wrote sounds like at this BPM. So, um, Flora, can you uh, cue up that, that song again? Play it one more time. Just pick somewhere in the middle for me, if you would. Just play that song from the middle. Yep. Here's what my song sounds like at 174 BPM. You get it. All right, so let's go to gallery view. Who's got a song they want us to try? I especially want to see Genevieve. Perfect, because we didn't do your song last time. Okay, Matt is going to share that code with me and with Flora, and we're going to play your song over the really fast beat. Did you change it to 174 BPM? Yes? Perfect. Um, do you think it's going to sound like a great song or the best song ever? What do you think? More like a great song. <laughs> Okay, great. I'm glad. I'm glad. My, my expectations are managed. Wonderful. All right. So here we go. Um, Flora, let's go back to you. Are you ready? Let's do it. Play that funky music, robot.
job, Genevieve. Let's go to gallery view. And everybody, let's show, Gen show Genevieve some love. That, that was great. Do you want to unmute Genevieve? How'd you feel about your song? What'd you think? It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I would venture to say, not just great, but amazing. <laughs> so good. Love it. Yes. Um, who else? I think Jack and Sam, both, and, and Sam's kiddo, have not yet shared their song. Jack or Sam, do you guys have a song that you want us to try? Yeah, Jack, you do? All right. We're going to share Jack's code with us. We're going to put it over Flora's sick beats. <laughs> you have to say it like that. You've got to be like, dope melodies and <laughs> sick beats. There you go. How do I share it? Uh, you don't need to. We're taking care of that in the background. So we got it. We got it shared. Here's your, here's your thing. Oh, man. Looks, uh, looks pretty complicated. I'm pretty excited about it. Jack, uh, do you think it's going to be um, totally wicked or life changing? What do you think it's going to be? Uh, which is better? <laughs> whichever, whichever you think, Jack. Life changing or totally wicked? What do you think? Uh, life changing. Life changing. I think so too. Hey, Flora, are you ready? Play those funky beats, robot! check in with Flora real quick. Hey, hey Flora, how you doing over there? Tell us how you're feeling. You, are you kidding? You've had your confidence restored and you feel ready to write an entire album? Is that right? Wow, you guys' you guys' melodies that you wrote totally made Flora ready to write an entire album, which for normal people takes like sometimes years. How long do you think it's going to take you, Flora? What do you think? She's going to write it all this weekend. She's so inspired. Nice job, you guys. That was amazing. Let me give a couple shout outs here to some really special and helpful people that helped us put this whole thing on. A big shout out to the person who actually made our beats. Um, they're a group called Middle Children, and you can find them on Bandcamp, Spotify, and Instagram. A note that some of their songs on some of these platforms are not child friendly, but these songs were totally sick beats. So a big shout out and a thank you to middle children and also a big shout out and a thank you to family maker camp make sure that when you tag us on your posts on twitter and all of the social media things that you also tag hashtag make together because we have just so much uh so much gratitude in our hearts for family maker camp allowing us to put on some cool programs like this if you want to join the zoom meeting next time you can do that by signing up and registering for our free classes we are doing saturday programming that's our only free classes right now for the next few weeks so if you want to participate you gotta wake up on saturdays and get to coding with us which you can do by visiting our website right there and also we are available for hire as well. So if you want us to come to your summer camp, to your coding club, and also we do professional de development for teachers around computer science, robotics, engineering, and general uh, chicanery, a word that I learned today from Dr. Sparks, um, you can hire us to come out and do that. We would love to serve your organization. Um, 
Again, thank you so much to Family Maker Camp for allowing us to put on all of these cool shows. Um, we hope you enjoyed all of the shows from the Anything Place, Dr. Sparks, The Buzz, and Code Joy. Those are happening on Saturday mornings, at least for the next few weeks. Please join us next weekend on our Code Joy show. We are going to be having a robot dance party, which sounds like robot DJ but it's different. There are going to be scrunchies involved, so it's sort of a bring your own scrunchie situation. Definitely um, invest in a good scrunchie if you don't have one. So sign up for next week's um, classes. Thank you so much to our Zoom participants. If we can go to gallery view, everybody stick your hand out in front of you. Give yourselves a pat on the back because that was some great coding, y'all. Nice work. Nice work. Um, thank you so much to everyone, and we will see you next Saturday.